hi guys and welcome back to the channel if you are new welcome if you're a frequent watcher welcome back today i'm going to tell you guys the brutally honest truth about pregnancy <sighs> i had you guys ask me a few questions about some of the things you are curious about so i am going to read those off first and then if there's anything that i feel should be said i'm just gonna say it because nobody talks about these things. Everyone makes pregnancy seem like it's just rainbows and flowers. It is something. But I am blessed that I am able to have kids and I'm not gonna take away from that. So let's just go ahead and get started. I hope this doesn't stop anyone from wanting to have kids, but at the same time, I hope that this opens your eyes and lets you understand that nothing's perfect. So here we go. So the first question is, do you pee a lot? Oh my god. Okay, so obviously, you know, when they tell you about pregnancy, everyone says, you know, you just use the bathroom so much. I Personally, I have cried because there was times where like I would be in bed and I'd be comfortable after just showering and using the restroom and I would have to get up and go pee again literally two minutes after I just went. And my body's also doing this very weird thing now where after I get out of the shower, I have to pee. Never before or during, just after. And it like, Jay thinks I'm crazy because sometimes I'll just be in bed and I'll just be like, oh my God, I have to pee. And he'll be like, didn't you just pee like 30 seconds ago? And I'm like, that's, that's my point. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So yes, you pee an awful lot and apparently it just gets worse so speaking of uh, hey <laughs> yeah i'm filming my q a what's up anyways all right so the second question says do you feel when you want to throw up while sleeping no so when i'm sleeping i literally don't feel anything at all like for example when i take my prenatals they make me so so nauseous i'm really really sick and so i normally take them right before bed so that i can just sleep and not feel sick because otherwise like in the first trimester of my pregnancy um when i would take my prenatals and try to go to bed i would just throw up everything because the feeling was just not good so no i don't feel anything when i am sleeping but in the morning like the second i wake up if i don't eat I feel sick and if I go to bed a few hours after taking my prenatal I feel sick so it's just kind of was it planned or a surprise it was not planned um, this baby was a complete surprise but when we found out like you guys saw in the videos we were very very excited we were planning on having kids um, between a year to two years anyway so we we're just a little bit early but it was amazing so what are your cravings salty things I always want pickle chips everyone says you have like really crazy cravings but i don't i mean the craziest thing i've and it's not even crazy because i would eat this on a good day was a hot dog with mac and cheese and i cried because i messed up the mac and cheese because i was scrolling and i forgot to check on it so how many weeks were you when you found out you were pregnant um when we found out i believe i was six weeks um, and I say six weeks because I remember going to get an ultrasound and like, it was like to confirm the pregnancy. Um, so I believe it was six weeks when I found out I was pregnant. Is it true that after you give birth, the doctor sticks their whole elbow in you to get access birth? I'm not really sure. I don't, I think I know what you're asking me, but from the wording, it's a little bit confusing. Um, I think you're referring to when they're, um, going to get the placenta. I have not given birth to the baby yet, so I cannot confirm or deny this. I did see a TikTok where she was like, the doctor put his whole arm up to his elbow into her cooter and pulled out her placenta. And I'm praying to the Lords that that does not happen to me because I, I'll be done. I'll be done after that. So no, I actually don't know what that is, but I, when I do my labor and delivery vlog, I will, I will tell you guys. You will see it. Well, you won't see, you won't see it, you know, but you guys, I'll tell you. When did the nausea begin? Oh my God. I want to say it started around eight weeks for me, maybe even seven and did not end until maybe two weeks ago. And now I'm in my second trimester and my nausea was horrendous. Like 
I would lay in bed for most of the day. I couldn't take showers without feeling sick and lightheaded. The second I woke up, like I had to run to the kitchen and eat. Otherwise I would get super overheated and I would get sick and I would feel like I was going to die. Do you fart more? Yes, but well, I do at least. My gassiness has been top notch. Um, unfortunately, when you're pregnant, your gas is obviously much harder to like get out. Um, so there's gas pains and they just feel like super severe cramps. Um, I've cried over those too. I'm not ashamed. They are so bad sometimes. I actually still have gas pains and everyone says, oh, you can take over-the-counter medicine for that, but I don't really want to take things that aren't necessary or not necessary, but aren't like, you know, requirements because I just don't. I'd rather just handle things naturally, especially while I'm pregnant. I don't really like to take medicine when I, when I wasn't pregnant, so I'm not really a big fan of it now that I'm also taking care of another human. How does it feel to carry around someone else? Okay, I still don't understand for the life of me how my body can produce a whole nother human. Like when I went to my last ultrasound, like it was a whole human in there. A whole, like, like a whole baby which doesn't even make sense to me. Like it just, like how am I able to produce like someone else who can produce someone else? God, science is so weird. It feels, it feels cool. Like to feel this baby move and be active and get comfortable, like it's actually kind of cool. It's the best and she's really active at night. So I'm hoping she's not like her mother and father and she's not a, a night owl because Goodbye, sleep. Even though I already know sleep is not going to be an option anyway. Let's just pray for the best. Do you feel really bad like most of the time? I don't really understand this question. I don't really understand like what do you mean? Do I feel bad most of the time? Like sad? Um, emotions are definitely much higher if that is what you were referring to. I do get more insecure. I do get more sad. I do, but never like over the fact like that I'm actually having a baby, if that makes sense. Like I'm never sad because I'm like, oh, my life is over or I'm a mother. No, it's more like I am not shaped the way I used to be. Why do I look like a bean burrito? But then I remember like I'm taking care of a whole new human who is depending on me. So my insecurities really don't matter. When the baby kicks, does it hurt? No, it doesn't. Sometimes though, sometimes it's like, it's like you're being like jabbed in the side, but that's just when like I'm sleeping on the side and she doesn't want me to be on my side. She's a little demanding, it kind of tickles. I, I think it's cool. But does it feel how you expected it to feel to be pregnant? No. No, I always expected it to be rainbows and flowers and just like, oh, I've got a cute bump. But I'm out of breath all the time. Today, I limped to Publix to grocery shop because, well, limped into Publix. I didn't like limp to the store, but I limped um, inside of the store because my leg gave out because she was laying on one of my nerves. And I was just like, is this, this happens like all the time? But apparently so, but again, it's just a blessing. Um, I'm grateful, but it's definitely not what I expected at all. Has your sex drive changed at all? Um, I wouldn't say it has changed. I will say though that because of the discomfort that pregnancy causes, that is the last thing on your mind, both you and your partner. He's constantly comforting me and like, I'm just always going through something, like whether it's pain or like emotions and we're just like not thinking about that. <sighs> So, but no, it, I don't, well, me personally, it hasn't changed my drive. It just, I just don't think about it because I'm just like, my ribs hurt. <laughs> so, did you think you were having a girl before you knew you were having a girl? I think a piece of me knew that it was going to be a girl, but towards the end, like before the gender reveal, I was like convinced it was a boy. Um, but a few days before the actual gender reveal, I had a dream that actually felt more like real life. 
and I was laying in bed and Jay was leaving for work and I vividly remember him handing me this beautiful baby girl and I remember her face, I remember everything about her. And he laid her next to me and he was like, I'm going to work, I'm just going to put the baby here while you sleep. And then ever since then I was like, it's a girl. Like my heart is telling me it's a girl. So I think up until two days before the gender reveal, I thought my baby was a boy. So it kind of fluctuated a little bit, but in the end, I think I knew. Just from that dream alone, I was like, I definitely feel like this is a girl. So, are you nervous about giving birth? Love you guys. Yes. <laughs> I have heard no good birth stories. Everyone's always giving me a horror story about how it's gonna be the most painful experience ever. It's gonna last so long. I probably will never wanna do it again. And it's kind of annoying to hear such negative thoughts. Like everyone's like, oh, you should be so grateful that you can get pregnant. And then they tell you all the negatives about being pregnant. And it's like, you're a little confusing. But I'm very aware that everyone's pregnancy is different. Every situation is different. I am praying for a safe and easy delivery. Um, and that's about it. I just want a healthy baby and I just can't wait to be healed and just have this little girl on my side And then just be done with the whole pushing up process cuz Do your breast hurt and apart from seeing the bump physically do you feel it growing? I don't feel the bump growing however my stomach itches a lot now and everyone says obviously that is because the bump is growing um, My my boobs hurt my boobs hurt it's definitely worse during the first trimester and then they kind of like stop a little bit. I'm lucky that they're feeding my baby or they would be removed tomorrow. <laughs> do you become lazy to do anything like go to work? I took a while off of work because I went back for a little bit and it was like instant sickness and I was like, I can't do this. Like this is not happening. I wouldn't say I became lazy to working, but I do feel less motivated, whether that's with YouTube or even like going to work itself. Like I just don't feel like I have that energy, but um, I have told myself that I need to just get into a routine and I need to stick to it. But I will say I've gotten much more tired. I'm tired all the time now and it sucks, but I mean, everyone says get all the rest you can. It's helping your baby grow. And so that is what I've been doing, but also being productive. So a happy medium. Those are all the questions that you guys sent in to me. I really hope that gave you guys a little bit of insight on pregnancy for me at least, because obviously everyone's different. I'm just a 23 year old girl learning day by day how to do this. So you pee all the time. Morning sickness is not morning sickness. It is all day, everyday sickness until your baby decides it doesn't feel like being sick anymore. Some girls, the morning sickness doesn't stop. Um, some girl that stops after this first trimester. You can go to an ultrasound and they'll say have a full bladder and your bladder will not be full enough to the liking of whoever's doing your ultrasound. So drink more water than you think you need. Your ribs will hurt all the time. If you've got a smaller frame, um, your body's definitely prone to ache more. Um, kind of inevitable. Highly recommend ladies getting a body pillow. My sister got me one and it has saved my life. You will cry all the time. You will feel insecure a lot. But just know that you are nourishing a beautiful baby and in the end it'll all be worth it. And you've got a best friend on its way. But yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them down below or DM me on Instagram. I will answer as many as I can. Um, and yeah. <laughs> if you guys even want a pregnancy update from Jay's point of view, like guys asking a guy's point of view, you guys are more than welcome to do that as well. But yeah, that is it for today's video and I hope to see you guys in the next. Bye.